Hello, welcome back to the brand new session of Certified Ethical Hacker. So in the last session, we have discussed about how we can download and install Kali Linux in our VMware Workstation Pro. So we have successfully installed Kali Linux in our virtual machine. So we got the login screen. Now we will proceed. So here we can log in in attacker user. Please make sure that uh, whatever you have given the password, you can log in with that password. So I have logged in in my Kali Linux machine. But please make sure if you are logged in first time, so it will take some time. So here I got my cursor of Kali Linux. So I hope it is loading. So first of all, we will see the basic settings and advanced setting of Kali Linux. So this is our user interface of Kali Linux. This is a nice GUI of uh, Kali Linux. GUI, GUI means uh, GUI, that means graphical user interface. So here, that is a taskbar where you can see the show application, right? Then uh, here, some tools are by default kept in uh, in this particular taskbar. So we can, you know, we can manage all these stuff. So first of all, we will go through the settings. Again, we can see that this is a battery percentage, whatever you have. Camera, you can go directly. Then settings, lock, if you want to lock your screen. Then uh, if you want to power off, shut down or maybe restart. So yes, you can do that. You can increase your volume. Uh, that is wired connection, Bluetooth connection, balance. That is uh, your battery performance. Night light, if you want to work in your night way. So yes, and this is a dark mode, which I have already applied. This is your, uh, the date, time and, uh, you know, the... If you want to configure in a more better way, yes, we will see that how we can configure in a better way. In fact, you can also click on this so you will get all the notification. You can also enable your do not disturb from here and this is our calendar. In fact, you can also go through the place. So like your this PC, right? If you know about the windows. So when you will click on uh, file explorer, so you will get this PC, right? So basically this is a this PC concept of uh, Kali Linux. Then application, you can directly go through any kind of application uh, from the application menu. So you need to just click on this and you can just go from here. So there are a lot of tools. As I have already told you, we are having 600 tools. In fact, more than that. So you can use all of them then these are the desktop so there are two desktop which i can see right first and the second one so you can work so you can say this is a kind of workspace right so i'll just go through the first workspace so this is a, you know this is a desktop and now we'll go through the setting oh i have locked it so I'll just log in again. And here I will go from setting. I will also manage my this taskbar as well because I don't like this. So we can manage this taskbar according to us. So first of all, uh, we can see this is a minimize, maximize and close. This is search button and this is three dot menu where you can click and you can uh, go directly to the keyboard shortcuts or help. So this is a network setting which I have already configured, right? Uh, one thing which I just remembered that I have changed one setting uh, in my Kali Linux machine that I have uh, changed my network adapter by which I will get the different different network for my physical machine and the Kali Linux machine why i just change this from bridge to net because uh, if we are you know applying any kind of attack so it will be apply in my full network right whatever my devices will be there so i am having a lot of devices in my home like smart devices like smart lights and smart uh, you know fans and uh, etc so basically you know every device will get affect so that's why what i have did uh, i have changed the uh, network adapter from bridge to net by which uh, the network will be different 
of the virtual machine and the physical machine. If I selected bridge, so the physical machine and the virtual machine, the network will be same. But in this case, the network will be different. Like what kind of network? So like if I if I am having my network of uh, 192.168.1.100, if it is my physical machine IP address, then my Kali Linux IP address should be 172 dot something or something like that right so this is known as different network so this is a network then this is a bluetooth if you want to configure a bluetooth but i have disabled then appearance that mean your uh, you know what kind of uh, desktop you want to apply so this is a dark and this is default so you can try a lot of pictures are there so it will load it but uh, you can try so this is a light background and this is dark background right so if you try it with white background of here so yes it will be like this but if you try it with black so it will be here so this is all about the appearance and uh, personalization actually of your all the windows this is this lock screen notification so i don't want to add then uh, what kind of application you want from the notification or sound alerts and all so i have just disabled the uh, notifications for all these application date and time actually i will okay fine i don't have any problem disk if fine valuation uh no i don't want this notification as well files yeah i want uh, files notification like if you copy and if you pasted something so you will get the notification that your file uh, has been completed right the network yes we will get the network configuration printer will i did not edit any so yeah i will disable this power notification you can because it will be important search uh, application search okay fine file calculator setting terminal yeah it's fine multitasking you can enable whatever you want right then application i don't want to go through application because it this is a large uh, uh configuration now the screen time i just want to you know click on never automatic screen lock no i don't want and show no i don't want location services i have al already disabled it then camera microphone thunderbolt and the file history so you can also clear the history your file and you can empty trash if you have but i don't have so yep you can also click on automatically delete temporary files after 30 days or maybe there are a lot of options so this is a privacy then online accounts if you want to add your accounts i will never recommend to use if you are using you know virtual machine then i will never recommend to add your any account in kali linux so this is sharing then sound where you can uh, configure your sound then power we already configured the power configuration so this is a balance which i was uh, telling you that this is a balanced so this is a balanced power mode of your battery so yes you can work with this so i will just disable this i don't want automatic suspend then you can also check the uh, show battery percentage so this is how it will work display orientation whatever you want then mouse and touchpad so this is a nice thing keyboard so this is all the keyboards and if you want to view and customize your shortcuts yes you can just go through it right so you can also create a customized shortcut like if I want to create a launch terminal by shortcuts yes I can type the name terminal that command is genome terminal and you need to set shortcut control T so you can see that control T I have added right terminal and uh, yes you can just go back and you can also try that well so i have uh, type control t and you can see that i have uh, opened the terminal right so this is how you can uh, you know create your shortcut for any other stuff but you need to just be careful about the commands 
so yep everything uh, I, I don't have any printers and removable media so i'm just skipping these points then color yeah i'm skipping region you can just check your regions and uh, formats and if you enable so you will get the accessibility menu but i am just disabling this and visual alert yes i will enable if you have any issues you can just test so this is entire screen and this is window right and i don't think so i need to just be careful about other stuff then you need to just unlock your admin account so password automatic login i can do that because i will use this any no one will use this system so yes i will create the automatic login for my this account you can also add users if you want this is default application this is date and time so i think uh, everything is fine you if you are based from india so yes we can uh, create the asia kolkata right so and one more thing i can uh, create am and pm so this is automatic date and time and this is about so this is a taker name or you can say the device name hardware model memory whatever processor is software rendering or something like that so you will get every details here so these are our basic settings you can also go through the show application and uh, here i can try settings let me just check settings uh, pqrs uh, okay let me just search it so settings i will just right click and paint to dash dash you need to understand that that is known as dash right and uh, yes i will add the paint to dash because this is a advanced setting twix tool right so this is a basic and uh, now this will be advanced setting so general suspend when lid close no then appearance you can just change windows 10 icon or something like that and dark blue everything are there everything is there yeah you can see that the menu icons are really very special now and sound you can select default then legacy applications you can choose any of them legacy application i will choose kali dark or this one this will be better and any other stuff you can also manage keyboard and mouse uh, i don't think pointer location yeah if you press control if you press control you will see the uh, pointer then uh, startup application okay fine this is by default you can see that clock weekdays then seconds you will see and no i don't want to be a uh, this part then everything is fine now yeah everything is fine i don't want to add any other details so yeah this is a uh, basic settings and advanced settings of kali linux one more thing we will use a lot of time our terminal so you can also go to the preference of your terminal and you can uh, you can manage this terminal as well so there are shortcuts there is unnamed profile you can uh, also try the custom font but i will try to increase my size and uh, i think so that is fine yeah that is fine and uh, colors you can try any other colors as well show scroll bar scroll on output keystroke everything you can just try here so yeah that is all about the basic settings and advanced settings of kali linux in the next session we will discuss that how we can configure the repositories in the kali linux